Buenos dias, Sparrows! Let's going to continue with our maths learning. Yesterday we were looking at order in different weights and today we are going to correct it. So if you want to get a pen, we can mark it together and then we will look at a different unit. We are not going to be looking at maths anymore. Let's see what we are going to learn, okay? Let's going to correct this quick, 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 quick. <coughs> so, to order... Um, to order weights, what we were looking first is at the unit. So we were looking at all of the units, grams, 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 and grams. And we were seeing that because they are all grams, I can now just look at the numbers and see which one is the smallest and which one is the biggest. So we can see from, we can order it from the lightest to the heaviest, don't we? Let's go into it. So they are all grams, happy with that? It's going to start, my smallest number is 18. So my first one, my lightest is 18 grams. My next one, 80, 80, 70, 70, well done. 78 grams. My next one, 80, 80, uh, 81, 88, 81. 81 grams, and my last one, 88 grams. Brilliant. Okay, let's going to go for the next one. Let's going to look at the unit. Kilograms, kilograms, kilograms. They're all the same, so let's going to now look at the numbers. 17, 71, 70. Smallest is 17, well done. My next one. 70. Super. And my last one, 71. That's right. Good. Right, let's going to go for the next one. Let's going to look at the unit. Grams. Grams. Kilograms. Grams. So what I need to look first. What is lightest? Is it grams or kilograms? Grams. That's five kilograms. And my smallest one is 23 grams. So I'm going to be looking at my grams first. 23, 60, 46. My smallest is 23. 23 grams. Next. 60 or 46. 46. Next. 60 or kilograms, grams, so 60 grams, and my last one, five kilograms, and that is from the lightest to the heaviest, yeah, good, let's going to go for the last one together, shall we, now this one a little bit tricky, let's see, we have kilograms, we have grams, we have kilograms, and we have grams again, hmm, is lightest grams. So let's going to look at grams. Nine grams or 90 grams? Nine grams, well done. I still look at grams because 90 grams is smaller than 90 kilos and nine kilograms, isn't it? 90 grams. And then I look at my kilograms, 90 kilograms or 9 kilograms, what is lightest, what is the smallest? 9 kilograms, and then 90, that's right, super, that's right, that's done, so 9 grams, 90 grams, 9 kilograms, and 90 kilograms. So that is how to order from lightest to heaviest different units of um, different units of weights and different weights. Yeah. Are you ready for today's lesson? Let's see. Let's go to wrap of this. Today we are not going to be looking at weights anymore. We are going to carry on with measurement. But we are not going to be looking at weights and mass. So what are we going to look at? Length. Length. 
So first of all, let me show you what different uh, resources have you got? What tools have we got that we can use to measure length? We can have a ruler so you can measure how long, how long is an object, for example. You can have even a longer ruler like this one. Longer, isn't it? So you can have another longer ruler to measure as well how long is something or distance, yeah? And then you can have, sorry for this one because it's all muddy, because my boyfriend has been using it to measure in the, the garden and it's all muddy now, so I will need to tell him off. So you probably have seen this. Mommy, daddy, you maybe have it and use it. And if you pull it, it has long, long, long tape really long look and it keeps going and going and going so it has a really long tape that you use to measure as well distance to use to measure length the length of something you can use the length of a room you can measure the length like my boyfriend of the garden and leave it all muddy or you can use to measure an object a sofa something long so normally this one because it's longer you can measure longer things, yeah? Right, you now it's all dirty. Right, let's go in to look at um, the unit that we are going to be working with today. Today we are going to be working with, you know what is that? Meters. So we are going to be looking at meters. One meter, two meters, three meters, four meters, okay? Right. So, let's see, one meter, what is one meter? First of all, one meter is the same, this is one meter, this is one meter, exactly one meter, and if you add another ruler like this one on the top, you will get two meters, okay? And then if you add another one, three meters, so this is how long a meter is, okay? Now, if you look at this ruler, you have little lines, like the scales that we were reading the other day. And look, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So what is it counting on? Is counting in? It is counting in tens, isn't it? And if I point at this line, what is it? Let's count. What do you think that is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So inside, each line is 1. It's counting in 1s. And then after, it's showing me every 10. Okay? Showing me a bigger, a longer line for each 10, yeah? Right, so how far did we count to? We count up to 100. And then we said that this is one meter. And then we count up to 100. One meter. But then I count up to 100. 100 what? Let's see if it says there. Uh, centimeters. So one meter is the same as 100 centimeters because that's what I'm counting on. This is one centimeter, two centimeters, three, four. So that little tiny bit is centimeters. So, as before, we needed 1,000 grams to get one kilo. Now I need 100 centimeters to get one meter. So, as you can see, and most in all the, in all the rulers, normally, it shows you every 10, okay? Right, let me see if we can do this. I've been practicing really hard. Let's see. on the floor let's 
see, let's see. So, as I said, I don't know if you can see, well, yeah. The, I have put my long slippers so I can jump. I can do a bigger jump. Okay, so more or less on an adult, one meter, let me start there. <laughs> one meter, if I start, there's my ruler, there it is. So if I do a big, big, big step, yeah, that is one meter. Have a go, you. Have a go, put it on the floor. And if you have a ruler or you have something, a, a tape measure that you can put on the floor and see if you need a big jump so you can have one meter. See how many? Because me, if I just do a big step, I can go one meter, more or less. And then let's see if you need a jump or you can do as well a big step. I think that your legs are a little bit shorter. So I think that you will need a jump, okay? So let's see your work today. You are going to need to find how many different objects that you can just attach together. You can put them together and then see if you can get one meter. I have found mine. I hate doing this without having you in the class because there is no way I'm teaching like that. Oh, right, let's see. So, let's see if we can do it like that. <laughs> okay. Right, this is my ruler, okay? And if I add, if I add my laptop, okay? Then I add my artwork next to it. Then let me move you. Then I add my other artwork. Okay. And then I add my book. That is the same as little bit more there we are that's the same as one meter so i need a book art art and a laptop to create my meter so your work today oh my gosh i'm not really good with this with the video am i you cannot see it well that's it <laughs> so today your work you are going to need to try to um you're going to need to try to find objects that if you put them together you can try to add up up to one meter the next you will need to add up to two meters and then also for the last one you will need to add up to three meters now i absolutely understand that some of you haven't got a tape measure some you should but um some of you you haven't got one and then some of you haven't got a long ruler like mine that it is one meter so what you can do uh see if one big jump of mummy if you mark it and see how long it is see how many things you need to put to just get one meter of if mummy jumps two or daddy <laughs> jumps twice that will be two meters okay so first of all check if you by giving a big step that will be one meter or if you need a jump more or less to see if that's okay right let's see if mine it is one meter if i can do it <laughs> get ready oh right and if you just cheat like me and just put big slippers you can get one meter really easily so let's see let's see let's see if i start there okay in line with my book if I give a big step, that it will be my first one meter. Okay. <laughs> right, that's going to be an exciting activity. So that's your work for today. Just try to measure different um, the length of different items on meters. All right, have a go. Bye-bye. <laughs>